Cortex is what some people call an innovation district, right? A place where innovation occurs, where new ideas uh, and cutting edge technologies in biotech and medicine can be developed. And the modern economy, you know, prosperity in the modern economy is based on innovation. If you innovate and you produce a product, usually in the first few years of that product's life, you can, you can really impose a kind of monopoly price, right? Which means you're ahead of the market and that's where capital can accumulate and you're on the cutting edge of, of innovation and technology. And in order to have that kind of innovation, that kind of creativity, you need to cluster many, many skilled people from similar and different uh, specialties, right? In one place. So what you find is that you know, uh, engineers and scientists and PhDs and you know, biotech specialists, right? They're more productive when they're clustered together with other people like themselves, and in some cases different from themselves, some, some different, because innovation occurs from face-to-face uh, -face kinds of relationships. When, when you're in doing innovation, uh, it means that certain advances in technology are so new that they haven't been codified yet. They can't be put into a document. They can't be emailed around. You have to be right there to see it. The example I always use is fashion. You know, you might say, why do you have to be in Paris and Milan in order to be on the cutting edge of fashion? And the answer is you need to, you know, absorb the what the colors mean, what the new style is, what the what what certain cuts and angles mean in fashion. Uh, it can't be written down. You can't get it over the internet, right? So the same thing with these kind of creative um, professions, right? They need to have this kind of face-to-face -face relationships and increasingly millennials like to live in cities. They like to live in these pedestrian friendly. So you need not just the cluster of jobs, but you need the residential area around it that attracts uh, young creative professionals. Well, I think that um, the connection between universities and urban growth has become uh, you know, tighter over the years. This idea that uh, you can spin off you know, some of the strengths of universities to the regional economy. Perhaps the best example is Boston, which has you know, hundreds of universities in, in, the, uh, in the Boston area which have contributed uh, to its economic growth. So, but you know, you need some way to, to organize that. And I think Cortex has begun to create the kind of um, institutional capacity to really mobilize that talent and focus that talent. Uh, which is which is not easy to do. It's taken a while, and and we should say very clear, this is in early stages in the overall regional economy of St. Louis. It's still relatively small in terms of employment, but it's not small in terms of growth, and it's not small in terms of uh, this kind of innovation idea. Because once again, innovation is the key. If you don't innovate, you fall behind. If you're not creative, if you're not coming up with new ideas, if you're just producing widgets, you know that's a recipe for a low wage economy. Uh, so you have to be innovative, and I think this is uh, one key element for the not just for St. Louis, but for the region, right? That this is going to be one of the engines of the regional economy is going to be the kind of medical biotech cluster that exists in Cortex. Well, the way it works is, you know, a lot of ideas, and most of them fail. But if one succeeds, it can create a new industry and a new, uh, well, we invented Square here in St. Louis, you know, and unfortunately, you know, uh, we didn't have the kind of, uh, uh, at a certain point it had to move uh, to, to uh, Silicon Valley, right, where, they, where you have the programmers, you know, because we just didn't have that critical base of talent to go to the next stage. Yeah, yeah, but, but nevertheless, you know, that kind, of, um, uh, that kind of technology, what is the valuation of Square now? I don't know, but it's, it's considerable, right? And, um, you know, that kind of innovation uh, is, uh, is what we need. And we have, you know, we have Cortex, we have T-Rex downtown, we have... Um, we have, um, you know, um, uh, the area around uh, um, uh, around Grand Center. Midtown Alley is a term that's used where there's some you have some sort of programming, maybe kind of communication skills, even where Nine Network is located. You have the, the television, the radio, KDHX, you go got... Uh, Randy Schilling up in the... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this clustering of, 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 you know, of creative people, I think, creates uh, a, a kind of a... Uh, an energy that uh, that is more than the sum of its parts if, if done correctly.